All right, everyone, so today is update day for the Jeep. We're getting rid of the old CB that really only ever used it for bad weather days on the highway. No one ever uses these on a trail anymore. I wanted something a little better than the handheld I, that I typically use. So we went with the KG1000P 50 watt GMRS radio. It's got some pretty cool features in that we're gonna mount the receiver in one area, faceplate in the other, and the mic in the third location. We really want to say thanks to Bill, one of the team members from the Jeep Talk Show. We're going to kind of copy his install, and I'll throw his information in the descriptions. So we have to build a new bezel to mount this onto. Very easy build, and that'll be available for all of our Patreon members. Okay, so you can see up underneath the passenger seat, up under here, there's a section of the frame that's got these little slots in it. Now those will fit a carriage bolt really nicely. It's really hard to get good footage here. All right, so to run all the wiring, we're pulling off all the inside paneling. So we have to run the wire for the antenna, the auxiliary lines to relocate the faceplate, and we have a power line that's going to run down through. It's going to pop up here in the back, and we'll mount everything to that mount I showed you under the seat. Now on a manual, you don't have the luxury of using, there's a little pass-through plug on the side over here if you have a if you have an automatic you use that but if you've got a manual that plug is blocked by your clutch pedal my buddy bill at jeep talk show showed me this one we just popped these two little pins free and just passed it through so we got the antenna i got the power line i'll put a little more silicone on that so it doesn't leak but we literally just used a trim tool to pop these free and we get all these ran and i'll show you how we mount everything all right so we're going to mount the face plate on this bracket. So let me show you where this goes. Now this is gonna go in its center section in the middle of a JL. And that's for a switch bank. So it's easy to get to once you unsnap everything. Take a screwdriver, or one of your trim tools, and I'll show it to you once I get it snapped out. But there's a couple, couple clips in there that you can pop the center section out, and then that goes in that bracket. There's one on both sides, it's hard to see. And it allows you to pull this through and that, that gets relocated into that bracket so once you get all your wires all, all ran the one that goes back to the unit the one that will go to the mic you'll route this just snaps on to this piece here you'll re you'll put this back in and it literally just snaps in place so once you snap this panel down run all your cat 6 cabling down take off the a pillar now we run this bar that we made that goes in that lower mount, so that'll all run down and then put everything back up and we'll start connecting. All right, so we got the radio all in there. It's kind of hard to see, it's under the back seat. I gotta tie up some of the wires a little bit. Get everything all back in here. We gotta get the face panel in. And some of the first face plates I made struggle with the latches a faceplate that'll drop it. So we printed a bezel that'll tuck the wire in on one side for the mic and the unit for the, it'll go in the back. It's kind of hard to hold the camera. So the faceplate will mount to that. It'll angle down just a little bit so you can see everything. I'll make this available for any of our Patreon followers. And that way you can just print this off and this is PTEG. Put the mount in the side of the center console. So just drilled that. But that runs down there. That's for the mic. All right, so I'm not gonna begin to try to tell everybody how to use this radio, but a couple things I do like about it real quick is that you can use two different sets of channels. There's a volume for each one, programmable buttons up top, and then everything you do is also usable and programmable by the mic. I think it's gonna be a really nice setup. Like I said, 50 watts. You don't always have to run 50 watts on your radio, but it's a pretty nice setup. I look forward to using it more. Okay, and it's raining, of course, now, but we mounted the antenna outside. It came out pretty smooth. So if you're going to be out at EJS 23, look Duke and I up. But check us out at EJS. Look forward to talking to you and meeting everybody. If you want information on that buzzle, check out our Patreon. And I look forward to seeing you on the trail and maybe places like this to use a radio like that.